What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers. My longtime viewers, welcome back to my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Friday. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday, yeah. It's, fr it's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? Okay, okay, okay. It's Friday. I already told you guys. Friday. February 17th, and this is how much we made so far during the week. On Instagram, we made $232.63. On Uber Eats, we made $190.03. And on DoorDash, we made $43.58 for a total of $466.24. The night shift has been the best shift of my life without even trying, guys. I go out at 3 o'clock or 2.30, and I'm already working until 9 o'clock. Not even, I don't have to wait until 11 o'clock. I just... Bah, bah, bah. And then I'm also able to do a lot more things because I'm not in the parking lot for five hours straight in the morning time doing nothing. I'm actually able to edit my videos calmly, edit my videos, release it, and then actually work on a project that I'm working on. And I'm, I'm actually doing some some stuff. I love it, guys. I love it. I rec uh, well, I recommend it for now, I guess. We'll see what happens in the end. I mean, it's Friday. Friday and the best days are yet to come. Saturday is going to come. Sunday is gonna come, so it's probably gonna be even busier. I cannot wait to show you guys the night shift. Um, I've been doing it this week. If you're new to the channel, I've been doing it on Monday. I did it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, Thursday, and today's Friday, and it has been a success so far. So if you wanna see how I've been doing, just look at my last six videos. On Monday, I made $129. On Tuesday, I made like $133. On Wednesday, I made 80 bucks. But we all expected eight, uh, Wednesday to be the slowest day of the week. On Thursday, I made $129, and we are at on Friday. So it's been a very, very successful week without even like waiting. So I'm not even waiting that long, to be honest, guys. Like I, I'm here trying to look at my tablet, my iPad, to you know, because you know during the week, if I start early in the morning, I have so many hours to be. I watch so much Netflix while I was waiting in the morning time. But now when I get out. Boom, I wait maybe the first half an hour, 45 minutes, is, I don't get nothing. But then after after I get the first one, it's just, it just keeps coming. I don't have time to, to watch my iPad, which is good, guys, even though I am trying to study. But whatever, it's all good. And as long as I'm out there making money, making money, and not wasting so much time in the parking lots while I'm on the streets, I love it, guys. So let's see what, what Friday brings to us. With, now, with all that being said, my people. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe to all my people before you go. Sip that zo, baby. Sip that zo. Now let's effing go. Gonna go to the gym and work out real quick. The time is 2.54 p.m. And we are about to leave the house. We left it a little bit late, but you know what? It is Friday, so it's always busy on Friday, supposedly. And also, it just finished raining, as you see here. So the orders must be flowing in right now. So once I clock in, I should be uh, being blown up by all the apps and getting all the orders. Now, let's go get it. The time is 3.30 p.m., and we accepted our first order of the day. We didn't even wait that long. And I parked close, guys, as you can see. So it's for $10, total wine, Instacart, $10 for one item. Let's go. All right, I don't even need a, a cart. I just go straight in. Oh, I hate these wines. It's supposed to be here at aisle two on the right, bay four, but it's just, it's, they don't really explain it correctly. So aisle two, which is aisle two, bay four here on the right. Okay, it's been seven minutes and we are done. This is it right here, the bottle of wine. The app says that is in aisle two, as you can see up there. It is supposed to be aisle two to the right and I am in aisle two to the left. So whatever, it's all good. We got it though. Let's pay for this and deliver. Hello, hi, yeah, it's a total wine. I just gotta scan the ID, someone's ID. Yeah, I gotta scan this, sorry. Uh, LID, please. Okay, total wine. The time is 4.14 p.m. and we accepted a, uh, what was it, a 13, no, yeah. Right? Yeah, $13 order 
Instacart total wine for one item. That's it, man. This is my bread and butter. I love it. $13 for one item. Let's go make it happen. It's two bottles of Bacardi, so I don't even need a cart. All right, it's two of these bottles, and that's it. We're done. It has been 36 seconds or something like that, and we are done. Two bottles of this big Bacardi rum. Let's go pay for this and deliver. All right, guys. So I had I ordered my food, and then I delivered that one order that I that that we just did, and then I was gonna start eating, but I accepted this order. I want to do it because I want to start making money quick. Um, Six dollar order for three miles Uber Eats. Let's go. Okay, we made it to our destination, Pollo Tropical. I just bought food here to eat it, but I haven't eaten it yet because I did the total wine order, and now I'm doing this one. Thank you. All right, we got the order. Let's deliver. All right, the time is 5.10 and we accepted an Uber Eats order, but I have to go make a U-turn. Oh, can I do it? Oh, maybe I could. Maybe I could do it, guys. I did it. Oh yeah, I made the U-turn. Or I'm gonna make the U-turn. Man, thank goodness. Okay, $7, one mile Uber Eats. Let's go. Yo, we just got a stack, which I kind of, now I kind of regret accepting it because I know it's going to take forever, but whatever, man. It was a $7 for an up a mile and then an extra $9 for an extra three miles. But it's Manhattan Chicago Pizza. So it's a pizza place. You already know pizza places take forever. But it's, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, seven plus nine, that's $16 right there for like four miles or five, four, three, four. Yeah. All right, let's go get it. All right, we made it to Manhattan, Chicago, pizza. How you doing? Is that two Uber Eats for Christopher and Ashley? the order that girl really didn't say anything i was like hey how you doing i'm here for these two or and then she didn't say nothing and then she gave me the order i said oh thank you she didn't say nothing i'm like bro yo humans are cold as man i'm telling you all right let's go deliver these are both orders they have them they have them uh named by name here so we're good All right, my lovely human beings, let us have some lunch. What do we got here? We got the same food that we've been eating all week. I never get bored of the same food. So let's have some white rice. We got some two chicken breasts. We got, do we have beans? We actually do have some beans. So you know what? Let's put the beans on the, ri on the rice while we're here together. Let's do it together. All right. Let's go, baby. And then guess what we're going to put on this? You already know we're going to put this on everything. This is the only spice I need in my life. This is the only spice I need in my life right now. Maybe later, something else. But right now, this is all I need. Let's eat. The time is 6.23 p.m. And we accepted a $9 order for seven items. So... This order is a little bit, I kind of didn't like it that much, but whatever, let's get it. All right, let's get some French bread. Oh, this is nice and toasty. Wait, it's just like kind of burnt. Ah, they don't have regular French bread, man. Do they even have donuts? They don't even have donuts. Let's take a picture of the sourdough French bread, see if they want this one. Okay, we got the mango. All right, so the customer responded saying, no thanks, refund. So I'm gonna refund it, I guess. All right, we gotta get this Gatorade Cool Blue. Cool Blue right here. 
I thought they didn't have it, man. I was about to fight somebody. I gotta get some Cheetos right here. Two of them. I'm gonna take a picture of these glazed donuts. See if maybe they want glazed. I'll take it with me, actually. Okay, so the customer okayed the glazed donuts, so we're gonna replace it. I don't know why I didn't ask her the first time, to be honest. But we're good. We gotta get some cottage cheese yogurt. Where's it at? Oh, this, I need the good brand. Um, I don't see no good brand here. I've never even seen this cut this this one good brand. Obviously, I don't have it here because it's cottage cheese, not yogurt. That was a big mistake. Here we go, cottage cheese. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot, guys. I know. You guys are probably like, Joe Easy, you're an idiot. That's not that's not yogurt. That's cottage cheese. The date is good too, March 10. Okay, the last item is one of these frozen pizzas right here. The one with the frozen cheese. I think this is it. No, I knew it, man. It's uh, I think they want the smaller one. I don't think they have it, guys. They have this pepperoni. Oh my god, man! Every time there's an order with with such little items and then like half the orders out out of stock, it gets me stressed out, man. Look, I'm gonna take a picture like this, I guess. Take a picture of both. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but. Okay, so I'm here just waiting for the customer to respond and I'm thinking, man, I should have gone with my gut, my intuition. I knew this order, I shouldn't have accepted it, but I accepted it anyway. It's all good, guys. All right, guys, it's already been 15 minutes. The customer hasn't responded yet. I'm just going to give her the same type of pizza, but the bigger size instead of the personal size and call it a day, guys. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and as always, let's pay for this and deliver. All right, so... This is why a lot of times I don't like talking to customers because um, when you start asking them too many questions, and I've, I I think I explained this in a, in a video, maybe ooh, back when I first started this, that I don't like texting the customer too much because then you ask them more than two questions and they get mad. They said like this one's like, oh my God, the big one, G's only. And that's just how Miami is, guys. Everybody here is in a bad mood. That's why uh, supposedly this is the worst, the third or fourth worst uh, car, uh, uh, city in the country with the worst like the worst driving it has the worst the third worst driving in the world because you know nobody knows how to drive everybody's always in a bad mood everyone has road rage and then that's how it is and that's why i don't like talking to that's why i don't like asking customers too many questions i should have just replaced that pizza i should have just replaced that pizza without asking but whatever i did anyway and that's just how miami is all right let's go pay for this and deliver guys check it out so i've been living here in Miami, Florida, my whole life. So I know my people. I know my people to the T. I know a lot of <clears throat> a lot of my people out there, like uh, my viewers, like Join says it, and some <clears throat> some other some other comments. Some other one of my people that that say the same thing that I should be calling the customer, like for alcohol, I should text the customer before I get there, like, hey, I'm gonna get there. Uh, can you scan ID? Stuff like that, calling customers, you know, and, and texting them. I avoid that like the plague because in Miami, nobody is in the in a good mood. Nobody's in a good mood. Everybody is in the worst mood ever. No, nobody's getting paid enough here. Like everyone's living paycheck to paycheck. Like they have no money to do nothing, and and it's like everyone's stressed out. Everyone is stressed out here. Cost of living is 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 the worst. So it's like pay is going up uh, no pay is the same it went up a little bit okay but cost of living guys is the worst is that has ever been supposedly star island is officially the most expensive city in the country before it was uh, manhattan new york i saw an article and now it's star island i guess it doesn't count because star island here that's where all the celebrities are at but it just goes to show you that the cost of living here in miami is the worst and we have a lot more middle class to lower class than high class guys you it's not it's not what you see on the tv or the the flashbacks and the ferraris and the corvettes and the fancy thing fancy houses that's not how it is in miami most people here are broke living paycheck to paycheck they have you see like expensive cars because people buy people don't know how i mean it's their fault to be honest they use their money to buy very materialistic things miami is a very materialistic city and i think everybody in this country knows 
um, you know, you buy the expensive cars, the, the Corvettes, the, you know, the Teslas, the expensive cars, and you're basically half your paycheck is going to your car payment. So it's like, I mean, nobody's in a good mood because they can't afford a lot of things. So they're in a bad mood. And then traffic, you know what makes it worse? The Miami traffic is so oversaturated in Miami. Everyone is in, like, I get mad sometimes. But, you know, I try to, I mean, I don't, I don't, I get mad, but it's not like, not like a lot of people here, man. The horn, everyone honks their horn for every little thing. When I was in Texas, no, nobody honked their horn. Here, they honk your horn for everything. Everything. It's, it's the worst. So, I know I've been, I've been, I'm here ranting for the, for, I've been ranting for three minutes straight. I haven't even delivered this. But that's why, that's the reason why I don't, I try to not talk to the customer at all. Because that's just how Miami is. That's how Miami is. I mean, why don't Joe Easy? Why don't you move out of Miami then? I did. I moved to Texas for two years. I didn't like it. I like I like the culture. I, I like my Hispanic people, you know. But man, we are one man. We're we're one you know bad mood. We're in a bad mood, guys. We're always in a bad mood. Us Hispanics. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's let's deliver this though. Let's go. I remember this person got mad after me asking about three replacements. On a seven item order. Imagine if I imagine if I if I if I do a lot of thirty item orders, forty item orders. No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one stars left and right. Left and right. That's why I have five star because I don't deal with those long orders. So I, I don't have to really be talking to customers. Once you start talking to customers, you start getting one stars all the time. That's just how it is, you know? And imagine getting getting mad over someone texting you three times about a replacement about an order when you when you order groceries like you it's not the whole point of of instacart but whatever okay enough enough ranting i apologize let's deliver we're here guys the time is seven o'clock p.m and we accepted a banger for me for me it's a banger 19 dollars. 19 dollars for three items that's it total wine it's some glass so it may be out of stock so i don't know we'll see but uh but man, $19, that's a great recovery from this $9 horrible order. Horrible. But let's go. Oh, I changed the colors to this thing. Okay, let's let's go get this order. It's total wine. Total wine. I already told you. Okay. All right, guys. We made it to paradise, but I'm not feeling good about this order because it's it's like wine glasses and a corkscrew. I don't know if it's going to be available. We'll see, though. This is the aisle where all the corkscrews and all this stuff is is at. Let's see what they have. The first item is a corkscrew. This one right here, look, this is what it looks like. And I cannot find it already. This is not it, right? Oh, I found it, guys. It's, it's, it's this one right here, I believe. This is it. Okay, we got it, one out of three. Now we need a, what is this? Is this like something for wine or something? Well, so we need this and a, and a glass and a set and a, set, a two set of glass, well, you know, wine glass. All right, we're here in the Rito performance. So we're in the Rito thingy majiggy section. So it should be here somewhere. Could it be this one? Bro, is this $75 for two glasses of wine? Uh, two glasses? Bro, guys, why is this? Why are these glasses so expensive? Look at this. $79 for, for a two pack of, of wine, a, a glass of Oh, look, this is the thing that we need, I think. All right, let's scan this. I don't know if this is it, but no, this is not it. This is like the same kind of concept, but a different brand. Bro, this is right here in front of my face, man. No, this is it. Why is it saying it's not it? This is exactly it. No, I refuse to believe this is not it. Cabernet, Merlot, Cabernet... Uh, this is the performance this is the performance actually but this is a one piece hold on wait wait i think i'm getting closer oh my goodness this this is this has to be it look cabernet merlot this has to be it man if this is not it i'm gonna fight somebody finally oh my goodness okay we got one item ah the last item it is oh no wait it's, oh it says i don't Aisle four, so it should be here according to according to the app. Ah, Uyo, we got it. Yes, 
guys, we got it. Man, these things are expensive. Oh my goodness. This thing costs $160. That's why it's a $19 order, guys. This thing's expensive, man. Man, one day I'm gonna be rich. Am I gonna buy this when I'm rich? I don't I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't really, I don't really drink, but I mean, who knows? Okay, we're done. Okay, it's been nine minutes and 40 seconds and we are done. Guys, this is, if you guys don't believe me, this thing costs $160. At hundred and sixty dollars, and this cost me. This is like seventy five dollars. This is like a two set. I mean, I'm not. A, I used to drink a lot of wine, but I never used to take it serious. So I guess this is for like the serious wine drinkers that you know they take it serious. They don't just drink to get drunk. They just they drink because they like the taste and all that stuff. I was the drink to get drunk type of guy. But um, okay, let's pay for this and deliver. It's gonna ask to sign something. Yeah, that's fine. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That should be, it, should, it says waiting for signatures, so when they sign, it should be alright. So what are, we, what are we waiting on? Uh, the person with the app has to sign something on their, on their end. Are you joking? Yeah, no, no. I thought you said, uh, it says there I have to sign, like what? Yeah, you have to sign on your phone. Just my sister ordering random stuff. Oh, okay. She said she signed. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. The time is 8:05 p.m. and we accepted a nine-dollar CVS order. Instacart. Instacart for two items. That's it. Two items. All right. This. Please let this be smooth. Let's go. Okay. First item is uh, this scope toothpaste. This one, I think. Yeah. Let's get one of these, but a good box. This one's good. Okay, I think this is the other one. The airborne thingy majiggy, the, the emergency, but the airborne version. This is not it. It's the same thing, it's just, oh no. They need, they asked for the 10 count, this is a 20 count. Could it be this one? But they also want the very berry, not the orange. Came to the to another section and we found it, guys. We found it. I think this is it. This is it. Let's go. We are done. Okay, it's been four minutes and we are done. We got our, cu our customer everything they wanted. Let's go pay for this and deliver. All right, the time is 8.30 p.m. and we accepted a Publix, but it's Publix Liquors. So $10 for... Publix liquor, the liquor section. It's just a bottle of uh, of Tito's handmade vodka. That's it. Let's go. Hello. Ah, oh, there you go. We're done. It's been 13 seconds, and we are done. Let me screenshot it. Let's just say 20 seconds. It's been 20 seconds, and we are done. Let's pay for this and deliver. Hey, how are you? I'll grab my ID for you. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much you made for the day. On this car, we made $88.36, and on Uber Eats, we made $24.84 for a total of $113.20. Guys, guys and gals, why didn't you guys tell me earlier? Nah, I'm just kidding. You guys did tell me. Hey, Joe Easy, work out the night shift. So I'm testing it out. I love it, guys. It's been amazing so far. The only negative day of the week was on Wednesday, which we expected Wednesday to be the slowest day of the week. But it's been good so far. I haven't been working as like more hours because, well, working in the sense of being in the streets in the parking lot. I haven't been in the streets as many hours, and I'm still making. I'm actually making more money because I'm working uh, a little bit later, and I'm not as like tired and burnt out. You know, man, it's hot here in Miami. So staying in the parking lot in Miami is, it takes the, you know, it's, it's, it's hot, man, it's hot. I mean, yeah, we could put the AC on the whole day, but that's just gonna waste our gas or for me, electricity, you know? So I'm not gonna be having the AC on because it does waste a lot of electricity. So I always leave it off. But, um, but now I start working right away. I don't have to be wasting time in the parking lot and then you know, when I'm halfway through the shift, it's already dark. So there's no sun at all. So like, I'm not super, super exhausted, super tired. So I like it guys. 
I'm gonna continue. We will see what happens on the next video. Next video is gonna be Saturday and then Sunday. I cannot wait, guys. But if you made it to the end of this journey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I, as you can tell, I am asleep. I'm like, I look half asleep. I look like a zombie right now because I just woke up. I woke up like two, two to two and a half hours ago. Got a glass of water. I went back to bed and I was w editing videos in bed. Kind of like, you know, breakfast in bed, but not as appealing. So editing videos in bed. And now I'm up here. I just got up uh, doing the ending video. But I promise on the next video, I'm going to look a little bit better. You know, but this is the ending video. Most, uh, not most, but a lot of people, they cut me off halfway through. So they probably won't even see me. So the only people who are going to see me are my longtime hustlers. The, one that, the ones that actually, you know, enjoy the videos. But if you made it to the, the end of this video and this journey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe. But my people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good everything. Have a good career. Have a good life. I'll see you in the next one. It's your boy, Joe Easy. Let's go.